Hey there, YouTubers. Just want to tell you what I'm up to today, doing this uh, axle fix. So you can see we got some broken studs and the wheel pads are worn out. So we're going to get a new hub instead of just putting new studs in it. What I wanted to show you is what happens when you run around with loose wheel bearings. Oh, I just got my finger right there. You see this? See this step right here? So that bearing is kind of beating itself up into the bottom of the spindle. You can see where it's been spinning on the journal. That, my friends, because you got loose wheel nuts, and these ones I took off with my hand, as a matter of fact. When I got the axle out, you can see the damage it's done to the thread right there. It's just hammered on the bottom of this thing. And that's from not having proper torque and preload and all that good stuff. I'd like to also point out that this is a repaired spindle. As you can see here, this is a weld right here, all the way around here. And I just, back here there's two plug welds, one on each side. And I actually did this. I used to work for a company right here, a local that uh, did spindle replacements and I was the guy that did that so this is one of my old spindles right here this is quite a fun job what happens is you take this spider plate off here disassemble this whole thing a big machine boring machine bolts on here and you indicate it all around of course after you cut your old spindle off and bore this housing out and then this piece and this piece this is a separate piece, they call it a seal ring and spindle. It gets put together, uh, heat this up, slide the spindle into it and weld around the back side of it. And then after you get done boring the housing to the proper size, you heat the housing up and slide this whole spindle on in and weld around here and weld two plug welds here. And there's one over here, it's kind of hard to see. I think this one's been on here for a good many years. Can't even remember the It's been at least, oh, I'd say at least five, six years since I did this, maybe more. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share with you what happens or why your spindles get worn out. And I'm not sure if this caused a vibration problem that eventually led to breaking wheel studs and as you can see the wheel here sustained some damage as well from running loose you see where the studs have eaten right into the aluminum so it's not a bad idea to check these things once periodically maybe yearly something like that Especially if you're looking up in there and noticing you got a wheel seal that's leaking. As you can see, this is all dry, so it wasn't a problem with the seal leaking. Um, probably just didn't get tightened up for a long, 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 long time. These will loosen up after a while, and you do have to reset the torque on them just from the weight. There's so much weight on these things, it's unbelievable sometimes. Anyways, alright. Uh, Talk to you later.